Hi, and welcome back to Finker Del Cielo. One of the questions that I do get asked is how on earth do I cope without a washing machine? So I thought I'd show you today how I actually do try and keep our clothes clean. We do rock the off-grid look these days, but I do try and keep us clean most of the time. So for the last two and a half years, we've tried various different methods, just from hand washing in a bucket, no fun at all. Um, we do have an outside sink. Um, that was in a bit of a state, so Roger did that up for me and I can now use that. Um, and one of the things that Roger did make for me was this washing machine. Um, in hindsight, a slightly smaller barrel would have been better. But basically, it's a wooden frame with a, a barrel held on a, a steel, a metal pole through the middle. And if you have a look inside, there are a couple of agitators, just bits of plastic um, screwed onto the side. So pop the clothes in, put some uh, water and detergent in, and then literally you do this for 10 or 15 minutes and it gets the clothes lovely and clean. Underneath there's a, a little drain hole so we can drain the water out, put fresh water in again to rinse the clothes. And that works really well when I've got big things that I need to wash. So that's one of the things that I use. The other thing here, everybody in Spain seems to have one of these sinks. Um, it does have a, a washboard on it um, and it, again it just means that for larger items I can put them in soak um, and then if they're really dirty like Roger's work jeans I can give them a good scrub on the board here. The only problem with this is it does wear your clothes away really badly. So, so that's how I do things like, uh, we've got the duvet cover in there this morning, soaking. So I can leave those to soak, carry on washing other things. So the other bits that I've got are in the house. So let me show you what we do. So in here, I've got two things that I use predominantly for clothes and smaller items. So this one's called White Magic. There's various different um, uh, brands of this. Um, this cost about a hundred euros and it's quite tough plastic, it's quite durable, it's been pretty good. I've had this two and a half years now. So all you do is you pop your clothes, you can fit say two pairs of jeans or maybe four tops in there, one jumper. Um, put your water in, it takes, it use about four litres of water and some laundry detergent. Now obviously here I can't use uh, your general detergent that's not environmentally friendly because everything goes out onto the land. So over the last couple of years I've tried soap nuts. They worked okay, they don't smell too good, um, but I recently discovered these laundry sheets. So these are eco-friendly, um, that is your detergent for a load of washing. So I can cut those up as I do smaller loads. Um, and it just means that the, the wastewater can go safely out onto the land and not cause any problems. So I put a bit of that in there, put some water in, and then the lid has got a special thing in the middle that actually creates a vacuum when you put it on. So you screw the lid down, and then you simply turn the handle, and two or three minutes, Drain the water out of the bottom using this special drain. So that just fits in the bottom. Drain all your water out, fresh water in then to rinse it. So then the last part of the conundrum is wringing the clothes out. Doing it by hand is no fun. My hands were splitting, it was really difficult in the winter. So I bought this. Now, this is a will double up as a washing machine, but I tend not to use it for that. I only use it for spin drying. So we pop our clothes, wet clothes in there, pop the lid on, and then it's just like a big salad spinner. I can spin all my clothes so that they are, get rid of the, most of the water and then simply hang them up on the line. Now, one of the challenges we do have here with the washing is putting too much water outside in one go. Getting rid of water here is, is a challenge. Um, we don't have drainage systems or sewage systems, anything like that. So we've got a couple of different ways. Obviously, the water that comes out of these is going down the sink um, 
and we have a French drain down in the veg garden um, for, for that water. For the sink outside, Roger's done a little French drain outside and we just try and make sure that the water is going out in different places. But the key here is to do little and often when it comes to the washing. So that's how we deal with doing the laundry off grid. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you again soon. Bye.